Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can go ahead and automate Azure AD app registration creation using Microsoft Graph. So I'm going to use Graph Explorer for the interest of the video, but mind you, you can use plan credential flow and automate this whole thing using your own app or using um, Azure apps like Logic Apps or Power Automate or PowerShell. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So what you're looking at is the API that we're going to use. So we're going to use application API, the endpoint. So the permission that we need here is application dot read write all to do the changes. So I've already delegated and consented that permission. Um, so we'll need this. I have the documentation open in here for the API that we're going to use. I'll be pasting this link in the description down below so you can take a look at that. Uh, so first thing first, we'll go ahead and create an app registration. So I'm going to change this to post. And if I scroll down to the documentation, what we're going to need is the display name. So let's add the display name. So Graph Explorer YouTube channel is what I'm going to name it. I'll go back and I'll click on Run Query. So once I click on run query, it creates the app registration for us. So I'll quickly grab the app ID from here and go inside app registration and paste it in there. So once I paste it in there, we should be able to see our Azure AD app registration. Oh, sometimes it takes time to spin it up. So sometimes you have to wait for a second or two. So there you go, it's loaded correctly. So if I Click on API permission section. It shows me no permission exists as of now. I click on expose an API. It shows me there's no scopes added in there. I go to app rules and there are no app rules added whatsoever. So we're going to add all of this using the graph API. So let's get started. I to save the time. I already have those in the one note. So I'll quickly do that one by one. So first I'm going to add is the app rules. So I'll quickly copy the GUID that I have. So this is the request body that I have. So you can find this details in the documentation here. So I'm going to paste that in the description down below. So right now we have app roles allowed members. So if you search for this and the response that we received from the post request, um, you'll find that there uh, app roles. App roles. So currently this app role section is empty. So we're going to populate it. Um, if you see, it's going to add survey.read. So Right now, it is um, using the post method. We have to use a patch method because we have already created the app registration. So let's change it to patch and all right. So let's change it to patch and there you go. So once we did a patch request on it, so we got a success response. And let's quickly do a get call on this to see if that app role has been added correctly. So I'll quickly change this to get and do a get call. And if I search for app roles, we can see the desired app role is added. And now if I go ahead and the um, Azure AD, click on refresh for the app roles, I should be able to see the app role that I just added. <laughs> app roles. App rules. So, yeah, so we are on the app rules screen and we can see survey.read the permission that we just added. Perfect. And going back, so now that we have the app rules, I'll add another permission which is inside expose and API section. So, I'll just copy this and paste it here. So, this section, if you see, exists inside the app rules. So, if I search for over two scopes, uh, currently it is null okay and if i go to this section expose an api this section is null so this is the section that we're going to add so before doing that i need to add an application id uri so we need to add this this is the client id of the app so you can add this again using the api directly if i search for the uri it will give you that uri so that's not this one uh not this one as well you can add the redirect uris as per yeah so the identifier uris are the one um, that defines what we just added so uris it was identified 
URI. So if I go down, there you go, the one that we just added. Okay, so that one is added. Um, we need to add scope. So if I go back, um, the thing that we just copied, admin consent description, I'm gonna add read.user, user.reader, and this, this to permission. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do a patch again on the same app ID. I'll click on run. And looks like it is added again. I'll quickly refresh. And meanwhile, I can just quickly run a get call on this. So there it is. So auth two permission scope, uh, we can see those two permissions are added in here. And if I go back to Azure AD app, it will show you the expose and API section with the relevant permissions. So there we are, those two permissions are added here as well. Um, so the last section that we're gonna update is the API permission section. So if I go back to Graph Explorer, um, so API permission section may, mainly involves permissions like Microsoft Graph. So ideally what you do is go ahead and click on add permission and then select um, the services that you have to use. So in, in our case, mostly we use Microsoft Graph, but there are again, other permission that you could always add. So I'm gonna stick with Graph. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now I have pasted this Q in, it says resource, um, required resource access. So if I again search this and the response down there, it shows it as empty, which is equivalent to what we see here. All right, so these are the properties that it's supposed. So resource app ID represents what resource uh, we need to add. Uh, in our case, it is Microsoft Graph. So this is the GUI for Microsoft Graph. You can search it online. And then we need to pass in the GUI of the permission that we have to add. So in our case, uh, I'll be pasting the link to this documentation in the chat. It has permission ID that we're gonna need. And using this permission ID, we can use and supply the scope. So if I have to quickly search what permission it is, I'll do control F and it will give you the permission ID. So currently the permission ID for Microsoft Graph is this. Uh, I'm gonna use user.read permission, okay? So it looks good. And then this one is, this one is policy.read.all. Okay, so far so good. I'll just quickly change it to patch and run the query. Perfect. So those two permissions are added now and I'll have to click on refresh. So meanwhile, if it is refreshing, I'll see the resource access in here. And you can see those two IDs are added in there, which means the permission is successfully added. If I go back to the Azure portal, it should show us those two permission in there. So it's loading and there you go. So we have successfully added the Graph API permissions as well to this app uh, using the Graph API itself. All right, so that's about it. For this video, you can explore this API and add other details like client secrets, um, key vault, certificates, and all the other details that you see uh, in the left blade over here. All right, so that's all for today's video, guys. If you need any help or have any questions, or if you want me to do any other video, related to similar topics on graph, do let me know in the comment section below. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.